Hi everyone and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Here is Damien Levy. Forex Trading How to choose a signal service on Telegram. In this video, how to choose a forex signal service on Telegram, transparency, honesty, signal reports, proper trade management, multiple target profit trap, number of signals per week, signal release time, are the signals easy to follow, available analysis, and profitability. Honesty, transparency. You need to make sure they are honest and transparent about their results. How to do that? You need to check if they report the results of every trade they take advice. It needs to be reported in their daily or weekly report. First, to do that, you need to note manually on a piece of paper what trade they send every day for a week then you need to make sure the results of those trades are given and they don't forget to report the losing trades. You need to take note on a paper or word file of the signals because on Telegram the admin of the channel can delete a losing signal and by doing so you won't be able to access and see this signal anymore. Here is the example. Second point. You can check how they send their signal. Do they manually write every signal on the Telegram channel? Or do they use a robot, EA, to send their signals from their trading platform account to Telegram? Basically, it exists expert advisor robots that can send your trades directly from your trading platform to Telegram. It is very fast and efficient to use and those robots have a higher chance to tell the real result of the signals too. What I mean here is if the signal provider sends a signal that are manually written by him, there might be higher chance that he manipulates the results. Because first, if you are a profitable trader, you won't mind buying an expert advisor that will transmit automatically your trades to your signals channel because it will make the process a hassle free for you. Second, when you use a robot to send the signals, it is more complicated to manipulate the results because the robot will also send the profit or loss of the account automatically in the signal channel. Here I will show you what a signal written manually looks like and what a signal sent by an expert advisor looks like too, so you will be able to do the distinction easily. This is a manually written signal. There is small letters for the currency pairs, the target profit and the stop loss. We look at the typography here. The second element here is there is no proper size indication on the trade or a percentage of the account on this trade. Also, this message has been edited. When you see signal messages edited, you don't know what value has been edited by the signal provider. It can be the stop loss value, etc. Which means this signal might tr have triggered the stop loss and if it was a fake out, the signal provider might have moved the stop loss and edited the signal. And at the end of the day, you won't know it. Also, the type of order isn't specified. You don't know if it is a buy limit, a buy stop, or a buy at market execution. Other example of signal written manually. One signal here is written in capital letters. Then the other signal is written in little letters. This proves to you that the signal hasn't been written by a robot. Also, they don't update if they close or take profit. They just say price has made X amount of pips. This is a little bit confusing for the subscriber and more often than not, it doesn't reflect the true result of the trade. Because what is the real result of the trade is when the 
signal provider will update to you to say you should close your trade now or the trade reach the target profit. Those kind of information just make you excited but it doesn't reflect any result, real result. Now let's look at some signals that are transmitted by an expert advisor or robot from the trading account to Telegram. Each signal here uses the same typography. They are written exactly in the same way. That's how you know it's a robot who transmitted those signals. Also, each signal's message describes a clear action on the trade. See, the first one is closed, which means the trade is closed, and this one hits the stop loss in this specific case, because you can see the profit are minus 1%. Then the other one is a new trade. A new trade, it's a buy stop, etc. Other element, the type of order is clearly explained. On the first, you know that this is a sell. Uh, this was a sell at market execution eventually. And the second, on gold, stipulate a buy stop. So you know it's exactly this type of order. It's precise. It removes any subjectivity. Also, what you can see is those messages transmitted by an expert advisor aren't edited. The message is published and no one is touching the message anymore. So when it's not edited, it's a proof of transparency and the signal message hasn't been tampered with. Also, when it's sent by a robot, you might have the option to get the size per trade. And this is very useful information. Let's check now the weekly reports of those manually transmitted signals. The accounting of the profit is expressed only in pips value and this is not right because basically with proper trade management we should place 1 or 2% of our account at risk on any given trade. Which means depending on the trade the number of pips doesn't represent the same profit. Let me show you what I mean here. Here is a signal on silver USD. Here this value right there is the number of pips between your entry point and your stop loss. It's equal your risk in pips. In this trade you risk 21.8 pips and you will adjust your volume, lot size, to make those 21.8 pips value around 2% of your account. Now let's take another one which is gold USD this time. When we trade gold, the number of pips is 10 times the value of silver USD, for example. In this gold trade, you risk 561 pips, which means you will lower your volume, lot size, to make those 561 pips value still around 2% of your account. See, you, in the previous trade, you have around 20 pips stop loss, and you will place a specific uh, volume, let's say 0 0.10 lot. In this specific trade, the amount of pips you need to put at risk is 561, which is 20 times your previous 20 pip stop loss. So you need to divide 0 0.10 lot by 20 to get the right lot. So in this case it will be 0 0.005, but in reality it will be 0 0.01 lot, which is the minimum you can trade. So if we compare the two examples on silver, one pip will e equal 0 0.10 lot and in this gold USD pair one pip will equal 0 0.01 lot which is 10 times less. So since depending on the currency pair that you trade the pips value will change it is totally unreliable to provide the result of the signals in pips the PIP account doesn't reflect at all the real result and profit of the signals. Let's check now the weekly report of the signals when it is transmitted by an expert advisor robot. You can see here that the results are classified by day, with date, and the robot transmitting the trades also details the number of trades and the win rate, which are very nice information. There is a pip value one during this week, but more important, and I would say the most important, is the percentage profit for the week. 
This means that by respecting the size advised by the signal provider, you would have made this percentage of your account in profit too. And for me, that's the more important value. The percentage of profit per week is the most important and reliable information. Also, when you see all those very detailed information on the report, they are more likely to be more honest and reliable because it would be more complicated to manually make up all those values as a fake. If you get signals from another platform than Telegram, you can also ask for an investor password from the signal provider's account. That can be another way to see the account history and verify the veracity of the result marketed. Personally, I don't give any information related to my trading accounts for safety purposes, but this option exists and I think you should know about it. 2. Proper trade management advices. Another way to make it difficult for the subscriber to see the real result of the signals is a lack of proper trade updates and misleading one. For example, in this channel you might see a message like this and this specific message doesn't mean anything because a trade can produce some pips then reverse against you and at the end of the day some signal providers will take this message as a result when in fact afterward it didn't advise you to close the trade properly and you lost it. Proper management messages looks like this. The update message contain an action that really happened for the trades. In this case, the target has been hit. Those updates are not misleading you. Another proper management message would look like this one. This message clearly says activated. So we know that we had a limit order in place that has been triggered at the moment of the message. Another example. This other message lead us clearly to what we should do, modify our target profit. It even states the previous and the new target profit. Multiple target profit trap. The other element that can pose problem is when the signal provider provides a trade with a lot of different target profit, like this one. As you can see, this signal has six different target profits. This means you have two options to execute this trade properly. First, you can place one trade and trail your stop loss once it reached the first target profit. You move your stop loss to break even. Then, when it reached the second target profit, you will move your stop loss to the first target profit. When it reached the third, you will go to the second, etc., etc., etc. The problem with this option, from my own experience, is that you will end up most of the time with your trade stopped at break-even or near the first target profit. And of course, the signal provider will count the highest target profit reached regardless of you being stopped out. This is very unfair. And it's another way for the signal provider to manipulate the stuff so he can look better than he really is. The second option here can be to divide your size and take, for example, yeah, there is six target profits, so you will take six trades and you will divide each of them with the different target profit. The problem here, again, is that for one trade you will place six orders, that's a lot. And for this specific signal example, even placing the minimum size, the minimum lot, you will end up with a $600 minimum risk trade because basically from the entry to the stop loss you have 100 pips and if you trade 100 pips stop loss with the NAS100, NASDAQ, etc. Uh, the value of the pips, since it is an indice, it will be a higher value than the regular currency pair. So you will put more money at risk, basically $1. So if you put $1 at risk per pip, 100 pip stop loss, it makes $100 per trade minimum. And you need to place, since there is six target profit, six trades, you will put at risk minimum $600. So basically, if you place at risk $600, you need a $30,000 account to support this trade alone when you place 2% maximum at risk per trade.
So the best solution once again here is to get a signal with a single target profit like in this example. This is simple and transparent and remove any challenges when you will place your trade. Fourth, number of trades signals. While it can be nice to get a lot of signals, taking too many trades often result in poor trading results. To avoid this, I would say it is better to subscribe to a signal service that provides around or below 30 trades per week. This makes an average of 6 trades per trading day and is easier to follow without putting too much risk on your account. Fifth, signal release time. Here you need to pay attention at what time of the day the signal provider is releasing his signals. If the signal provider is from Asia for example and you live in the US, you will likely be sleeping when the trader releases his signal because there is minimum of 12 hours of jet lag between you two. Before subscribing to any signal provider, find out what time of the day they will give their signal and make sure you will be able to place the trades during that time. 6. Type of order signals What do I mean by type of orders? Basically, we need to know if there will be enough time for us to enter the trade, between the time the signal provider releases the signal and the time the trade triggers. For example, it will be easier to place a trade if it is a limit or a stop order because it might take some hours before it triggers. On the opposite hand, a signal that is entered right at the market execution when they publish it won't give you enough time to enter the trade properly most of the time. If the signal provider publish only market execution trade, you might miss a lot of trades. 7. Available analysis it is good to follow signals, but it can be even better if you have access to the chart screenshot of the trader so you can also learn in the process from the trades and see what tools he is using. So finding a signal provider who shares his analysis is an additional valuable point on the long run. Better to learn how to fish. Some provider will provide a screenshot of their chart, it will look like this. On this chart we can see that the trader uses support and resistance and stochastic. In our group we provide screenshots like this one and you can see the tools that I use. Some are some EMAs, trend lines, supply and demand or support and resistance. You can see that just by looking at the chart. We also provide a MT4 profile with 50 plus pairs analyzed every week. So you can definitely learn from it. 8. Profitability There is a lot of services who claims a 80% win rate, but 99% of them are scams. That's why I made this video so you can educate yourself and be a bit safer. From my experience, when you find a serious honest signal provider, you can expect from 10 to 50% growth of your account per month. But once you find an honest one, you also need to take into consideration the other elements listed in this video. Because a lot of honest signal providers have a poor way to deliver their signals and they are very challenging to follow. Also know that you can achieve the results shown in the report of the signal provider only if you succeed to take all the trades. Even with those challenges, it is possible to make money from a Telegram Forex signal service. Just be reasonable in your expectations. A good signal provider could permit a 30% growth of the account monthly. This is not a rich quick scheme and following signals will require time, dedication and focus. Be prepared for it. To summarize. Make sure the provider reports all his trades to be sure of the accuracy of the signals. A signal provider who uses an expert advisor to transmit his trades to Telegram is usually more transparent. A weekly report claiming a number of pips won is totally unreliable. Only a percentage growth of the account in the report can be trusted. 
The messages in the signal channel should detail a precise action on the trade. The signal provider should advise you precisely how to manage each trade. Beware of signals with more than two target profit. Most of the time it is more complicated to manage the trade and it permits the signal provider to lie on his results. Make sure there isn't too many signals delivered during the week. Above 30 trades it is very dangerous for your account. Make sure you will be available at the time when they release the signal. Prefer to choose a signal provider who provides limit or stop order so you can have more time to place your trades. On the long run, it is also better if you can access the screenshot or the analysis of the person who provides the signal, so you can learn from it. Don't expect to double your account each month, a more realistic goal is from 10 to 50% growth per month if you use a 2% as a size per trade. Following signals can be profitable with the right commitment and effort. Click on the next video where I explain more about our own signal service on Telegram. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.